Fred here, welcome back to the Gear Obsession channel. In this episode, we'll be taking a look at the XTAR BC2 Charger from GearBest. Let me tell you something, this gotta be the coolest battery charger I've ever seen. Um, this is one of the most intelligent chargers on the market today with a really cool tachometer type display and the ability to test your battery's true capacity built right into the charger. I really like this. Um, again, I got this from GearBest. They sent it to me for review and they also sent me a coupon code so you can get this a lot cheaper. This typically sells for about $20 but you can get it with the coupon code HPXCM like it's written right there and also in the description box below for your convenience and if you use that code you can get it for the unbelievable low price of $16.99 so let's go ahead and take a close look at this and I almost forgot to point out um, along with that coupon code I provided a link for your convenience to just uh, go right to the right place on the GearBest website to get this really cool charger. So with this kit you get of course the box, you get the charger itself, a USB cable, pretty good length right there. You get a manual and this manual is all in Chinese I guess except for where it says intelligent USB LCD charger manual then everything else um, I cannot read. So, um, but luckily you can go online to the XSTAR website, or the XTAR website, and, you know, read the, the English version of the manual. You also get this card, I'm not sure what it is, and you get this nice felt carrying case. And it's nice that they give you a carry case, because the, um, one of the things about this charger, it's meant to be portable. There are... If you notice, there's no power supply with this. They only give you a USB cable. And you can see that that's where you plug it in. Right there, it has a little micro USB input. It goes from, it says, 0.5 volts, 1 amp, right there. So you just sort of plug this in. And we'll go ahead and do that right now. Go ahead and plug it in. And then you would plug it into any power supply, USB type power supply. Look at that. That is just too cool for school. And also, you could use it in your car. So, you know, if you have one of the, the cigarette lighter type charges, you just plug it in and then you could charge stuff in your car. And then when you're not using it, you put it in this nice felt bag. Alright, so let's take a look at the specifications. This charger um, charges 10. 10, 440, 14, 500, 14, 650, 16, 340, 17, 500, 17, 670, 18, 350, 18, 500, 18, 650, 18, 700, 22, 650, 22, um, sorry, 25, 500, 26, 650. Um, basically, all your 3.6 to 3.7 volt lithium ion batteries. What's left out? Well, like the double A's, triple A's, C's, D's, doesn't do that. It, it does the 3.7 um, type lithium ion batteries. That's what this charger is for. So, they also, by the way, if you notice, this uh, obviously charges two batteries, but they do have a four bay version. I also put a link for the 4-bay version from uh, GearBest also in the description box below so if you're interested in that. So you got the links, you got the code, they're all below for your convenience in the description box. Um, standout features. What makes me go ooh? <laughs> that, that cool tachometer style um, display right there. And there's some really cool information that you get on this guy that you don't get on other chargers. Um, other standout features, because I'm not going to go over every specific one because we'll end up with a really long video, but I, I have some notes here about the things that really make this special. Um, independent channels for each battery. Also, it automatically adjusts 
um, to the most suitable charge current. This, this is an extremely smart, intelligent type of charger. It tests the capacity of your battery. And I'm going to show you how that works. But this little meter up here basically tells you what it's using to charge your batteries. And then here and here, um, for each bay, it's telling you what your battery's current voltage is and below you see where it says milliamps or milliamp hours that's telling you how much it's pouring back into your battery as it's charging it so like let's say you have a battery that's half full um, let's say you have a glass that's half full of water let's say it's eight ounce glass and it has four ounces of water you would pour another four ounces of water and then you're glass would be full. Now that's what it's doing with the battery. So if let's say you had a 800 milliamp hour battery such as this guy here and you put it in there um, wherever it happens to be it's going to start out at zero and then it's going to count up until it's fully charged and it'll tell you how many milliamp hours it put back into your battery. So if it was half charged in this case you would get about 400 milliamp hours it would read letting you know it's full. Now you can go ahead and test your battery by um, draining it, basically using it until it's like below three volts and then you go ahead and put it in here and then you see how many milliamp hours it takes to charge that battery and it should get up to whatever the battery's rated at. If it doesn't, um, a couple of things might have happened. Your battery's going bad or it's old or you didn't discharge it all the way. <laughs> so um, that's, uh, and I'm going to show you, again, I keep on saying I'm going to show you how to do this uh, here in a second. Protections. This thing comes with a plethora of protection built in. It has overcharge, short circuit, reverse polarity, overheat protection, and the shell is made out of fireproof material. How uh, special. <laughs> Everyone should do that. I don't understand why. So I went over everything that comes with this. So now what I want to do is show you how this works. So the, the way um, that you test your battery is you insert your discharge battery again it has to be uh, below three volts and then you uh, pop it into the charger and you let it um, charge up and you'll notice that it starts at zero 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 milliamp hours and it counts up do not remove the battery and then put it back in while in the middle of charging because if you do that you're going to re-zero the uh, milliamp hour counter on the bottom and uh, when it's all done and fully charged it's going to say full in the milliamp hour area there it's going to flash three times every ten seconds to let you know it's done and it's going to indicate how many milliamp hours it took to actually charge the battery if you would like a complete listing of all the features and all the specifications of this charger and or the 4-bay charger, I provide the link below right to the XSTAR um, website, xstardirect.com, and you can go ahead and read all the specifics about this awesome charger. So it's time to wrap things up. There are some pros and there are some cons I'd like to go over. Pros, display, the, the tachometer is just uh, way, way too cool. May look a little busy, but I like it. Um, portability, again, you just put it in a little microfiber thing and you <laughs> sort of take it with you. You Most people carry a, a USB charger already with them, so just pop it in there, whether you're in your car, on the go, at home. Nice little lightweight charger. Relatively inexpensive, too. I mean, for $16.99, you really cannot go wrong with this. Um, another pro, it tests the true capacity of your battery. No charger that I'm aware of does that. And again, the price. Cons, USB power adapters not included. Uh, no big deal for me since I'm a geek. I have them falling out of drawers everywhere. They're just falling out of my drawers. <laughs> Uh, another con is it doesn't accept uh, more popular batteries such as the AA, AAA, the C's, the D's, uh, CR123's. It all rhymes, don't it? So it doesn't, do, doesn't do those, unfortunately. It's just the 3.7 volt type lithium-ion batteries. Um, 
Another nice thing that this could have had was a discharge feature. So you don't have to sit there like, for instance, I had this battery, I had to get it below 3 volts. So I had to sit there and put it in a um, 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 <laughs> e-cig and just sort of puff away until I got it drained out. It would have been nice that the charger did a little discharge cycle function. So you could say, okay, I want to test the capacity of this battery. Hit the button, it would discharge it and then recharge it back up. So you didn't have to go through that. Would have been nice if they included that in the charger. And the last thing is that it charges a little bit slower than other chargers. Again, this sort of depends on the power supply you have on the other end of that USB cable. Um, but it, it seemed to charge a little bit slower than my other chargers that I have here. So um, basically that's it. So do I recommend it? You betcha. I really like this charger. This is my favorite charger because it's just all geekified. It has all that information and it's nice to know when your batteries are starting to go ahead of time. This way you can go ahead and uh, order some new ones or get them at your local vape shop. Support them. All right, well, thank you very much for joining me here at the Gear Obsession channel. I really do appreciate every friend, viewer, subscriber, and where are you? You. <laughs> and I hope you have a great day. Take care. Bye.